Hey, so on our Web Squadron Facebook group, someone posted this saying, how could they achieve this layout with containers or however you do it inside Elemental? And a few people commented, and the obvious answer is obviously CSS Grid. But with Elemental, you don't get that yet. So with Bricks Builder, you could go away and play with it. But how would you do that inside Elemental? So what we have over here is boxes, boxes, and items going on. Well, quite, quite, quite a nice mosaic masonry kind of effect. The trouble is, though, if you try and do this in Flexbox containers where you start to use what I was trying to do over here, which is where you use like set uh, widths. So everything in this parent container is set as a row like this. And then we've got wrap going on. There comes a point where you can have items sat side by side. You can drop in more containers and you can start positioning them. But this container over here, I actually want it to be below number four. And this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky with how we do that. So I want to show you a way of how we can get the layout that I just showed you on screen over here. But we are still using containers, but we're not going to do it with just one container. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have a parent container over here containing two child containers. Then we will have another parent container, but this will now contain um, a container here, a container here, and a container here. Inside of container one, there may be two more containers. This does feel like container overload, and you start to hear the words, intersection, intersection. They are containers, but if you are careful about it, you can make it work. Now, if these items were not boxes, in a way, and they were images. This is a text box and this is an image. You wouldn't need grandchild containers within the child container, right? You could get away with just saying, right, these items now sit in the child container, but because I'm going to assume each of these contain different items, that's how I'm going to approach it. And then down here, this is almost a replica of what we got here, but we just got another child container. So let's go ahead and start building this one out. So I am going to very first get rid of this container over here. So let's start building. I'm going to use one of these pre-existing ones here where we have a parent container. And this, if I just show you over here, contains two child containers and there's nothing inside either of them. I'm just going to add a little bit of styling onto these so that it's easier for us to see as I build out. I'm going to give it a quick great background like that and paste the style over there. Let's just recap before we continue. The parent container is 900 pixels wide and we have two child containers, but we've sliced off 10, 10, 10 and 10. So 900 to take away 40 is going to be 840. So what we now want to do here is we have the option. OK, we can either go into each of these containers and we can modify this. Um, I have found that sometimes when you start to use 66.6% or 33.3, and you're probably wondering why you're talking about that, look at the design. Okay, over here, it's almost kind of set out in a three columnar structure, but that's two thirds and that is a third. When you start to do that, it doesn't always reflect and you might get things that aren't lining up correctly. So what you'd rather be doing here is actually um, hard coding the design in. So this is 50% and 50%. I could leave it at that or I could go in and be very particular. So we know it's 900 take away 40, which is 860. If you divide that by two, it's going to come to 430. So I go over here and I type in 430. And I go there and I type in pixel 430 as well. It's basically the exact same design, but I have found that that can make things a little bit easier to manage as you work on. But I am going to add in a uh, 10, not 10, sorry. I am going to add, oh, wrong one, sorry, padding. I'm going to add in 20 there because we already have 20 here. So when I look at my layout now, when I duplicate this to go to the next one, it will add in the next 20 above. But we still need to sort this out. Answer is 286.66666 per third. So I'm going to go over to this one here and I'm going to just type in 286.66 like that. So that is now being made smaller. And we're going to go over here and now times that by 2, 573.32. So what we now have is our perfect two third and a third. Now, loads of you shouting at the screen are going to go, just use percentage. You can do that. but Sometimes it's not spot on and you end up having to fiddle the percentage a little bit. Right, that is our first kind of section container. 
Ah, by the way, I need to make this a little bit higher. Uh, we'll go with 150 and we'll just do a 150 here as well. So it's a little bit similar to the design. Now we are going to duplicate this entire container like that. Okay, so everything is now bang in. If we go back to our design like that, you can see here, this is where I'm now gonna have a container and another container within the child container. Again, stay with me on this. Let me go over to this main container that we have here. I am gonna make this be a 286.66 like that. I am, in fact, I might as well just delete what we got here. Go over to this container. I am going to make it be, have zero color like that because inside of here, we're gonna drop in some child containers. Well, grandchild containers even. So we have a grandchild like that. Um, by the way, if I just pop my design back up here, the parent container, um, should have nothing except 20 pixels padding at the top to create the space. The first child container inside of there should have um, just 10 and 10 for the left and right, uh, but no padding inside. The grandchild container inside of here um, should just be full width and you don't really need to have any padding or margin because the child container is already handling that with a 10 and 10 either side, and the parent container is handling the 20 at the top like that. So we now have a child container, and I'm now gonna give the child container the coloring like uh, so like that, okay? Um, let's just go back to the design, just to make sure we understand how that is. So if I am saying that this was 150, this should be 300 in height. So let's just go over and make this one be a uh, 300 in height like that. I am, I am probably, hang on, that looks, that looks really big, doesn't it? That's 150 and that's 300. Why does it look bigger than it needs to be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's my eyes. I don't know. Anyway, 300. Okay. That's the design and style we'll go with there. And then the one, and then below it, we then also have another 150. Um, I've just realized I'm gonna maybe run out of a state on this page. I'm just gonna modify my heights, okay? Sorry for doing this. I'm just gonna go back over here and I'm gonna make this be 100 and we'll do the same over here. Otherwise, phew, that was massive, wasn't it? Otherwise, I'm gonna just start to run out of space. There we go, we have a 200 there. What you can do is just duplicate the child container because it now sits bang on underneath like that. So if I now duplicate the grandchild, you do get the 20 pixel and you're probably going, yeah, but why? You haven't set it. If you go to the child container, look, it's all over here. This has a layout that automatically has the 20. If I do zero, look, it's bang against it. If I go 50, it's gonna be really big. So that's why I've gone for 20 in my head for the spacing. If you were gonna have your left and right and your top padding smaller, you might go in and adjust this to be five or 10 or however you want it. So we are now just gonna adjust the grandchild for this one to be 100 like that, okay? So what we now have is this entire container here has basically done our component. And now all I gotta do is just duplicate like that and uh, duplicate again. This stays it is, but this one is now a flip. Um, it's up to you. You can either flip them or you manually or just go in and just go like that, you know? Now I know this design is not looking exactly like what we have over here, because this one is narrower, but I'm hoping you get your understanding the concept of what we're doing. Now for, if we go to the navigator, and I just minimize everything that we have here, the final one is just a duplicate of the top one, so I'm just gonna move it down to be underneath like that. And then all you're gonna now do is just adjust the layout. Let's remind, I keep forgetting what the layout is. So now we have that, and then we have like, uh, so, oh God, we got a bit of a complicated one here. We got uh, the same width there, half of what we normally do there with the 286, and then whatever is left behind. So, okay, fine, let's just do that. Let's just minimize that. Let's go to this container uh, and make this child container be the uh, 286.6. We'll then do a duplicate over here and then basically it's gonna be what is left. So I've applied 430 over here. I had to jig it around a little bit because something wasn't adding up right. But what we now have is a kind of a slightly bespoke layer. It's not all sat in one container because the issue came when I was trying to move things around to be in a certain place, but I've got uh, I've got a container with two child, 
I've got a parent container with three children and each some of the children, well, all of the children have grandchildren within. And then we've got another parent container with three children. in. This is a very complicated family tree. This is, I would say, my friend. But this is now ready for you to start dropping into here your items. And of course, you're going to want to double check how does this all look on mobile because I bet it's going to look like all over the place. You know, I mean, to be honest, though, you could responsibly hide some of the containers, just sort out your positioning, your, your margins and all of that, however you want. So you can still make it work for you. But this is how you could potentially do it. OK, and with CSS Grid, you could probably do it in a whole lot quicker way. But from a really simple point of view, this can work for you as well. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, with the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bag.